Hi folks, how are we doing? Welcome to uh, weekly update. Oh, what a messed up couple of weeks it's been. So obviously I didn't put up a, a weekly update last week. That's basically because I wasn't really here, I was sort of helping me on my out. So as I've explained before, you know, he got evicted out of his unit and we had to sort of clear a load of stuff for him. And then, um, so basically he, he had a 4,000 square foot unit. Um, I'll put a picture up in the corner, or should still have one somewhere. Um, it was massive, and then he, he downsized to basically about 800 square foot. So like loads of stuff everywhere, we're trying to organise stuff, sort of get rid of stuff for him and, and stuff like that. But then he actually managed to find um, a mezzanine floor, uh, basically for free, but we had to go take it down. So me and Michelle and a uh, mate of mine went down, gave him a hand to sort of take that down. So that was a couple of days, and then... Um, yeah, it was just messed up, but sort of the week before. Um, I did actually go get the paint, well, went, went to pick the colour for the mini. That was good fun, that was. So, um, yeah, this week, so I painted uh, one of the doors. I've still got to reskin it and stuff like that, but uh, the owner of the mini wasn't quite sure of the colour, so I said to him, I'll blow the door in real quick so you can sort of see the colour. He's actually now decided he wants it to be a different colour, but we'll go for that in a minute. Um, been doing some stuff around the workshop, like massive tidying up. We finished all of the plasterboarding, um, put another racking up, and then I've been painting a boat. Yeah, it's weird. I know. I'll show you. So you'll have to excuse the banging. They're actually sort of out there doing the uh, floor at a minute. Uh, Michelle's finished making these. Finished what? Well, pretty much finished making these. Finished these off yesterday, and she has made these all herself. She's done all the welding. Uh, there will be a full video of this coming out of me basically ripping into it and having some fun. Um, and this is the boat we've been doing, which I've actually got to redo today. It's, this is weird, this is. So, a mate of mine uh, is a welder. Um, he makes these, it's a planter. He lives, he lives on a narrow boat and he makes these and it's, it's, it's a planter, as you can see like that. So, I painted this all up for him a couple of days ago. Uh, left it as it was, and then come in in the morning, it was literally there on the floor but on that side as you can see where it's damaged here i have it's lit that is literally how i painted it. it was just on that bit of wood so there's no way it could have sort of fallen off you know i spent like a couple of hours painting it going around it giving it a couple of coats so i have absolutely no idea it's a real strange one how it ended up on this side and it hadn't rolled over there's no damage on this side at all so Today's job is repairing this and in between this I've got to make some more panels. So I've got some more orders of these so I need to sort of make a load more. I've got all the blanks cut out you see before I drilled all the old. just need to start shaping them so that's the job for today while they're making a lot of noise. So all the plasterboard is now done and sealed up. It's, it's a bit of a patchwork up there but I don't really care. Um, put this shelf up so some more stuff's out of the way still need to dig out the wood for up there and we'll sort that out one day but not too worried at the minute got some metal um, got a mat we'll put a mat down there's a door that I painted so I thought it was just a lovely colour you know um, and so there's, there's still some dents and stuff all over it you know because of uh, where it is but you know I did spend a while sort of getting a decent finish on it Polished it up for him so he can see the colour properly. And now he wants it red. So that was to sort of go, um, yeah, what sort of shade he wants it, you know, because it's, it's not the original. You know, obviously it was a lot darker, but he wanted like a sort of candy blue, so we picked this one out for him. Um, it comes out alright. Yeah, now he wants it red. So, first job of today is get that bloody boat painted. Although, I'm not surprised, Michelle. So I bought her a birthday present yesterday. I never buy her anything, but I bought her a birthday present. It's in the back of the car. I don't think she's seen it yet. So let's see if I can surprise her and catch her on film. Go have a look in the car. Have a look in the boot. Are 
<laughs> Got a scroll saw. Don't. <laughs> it's for your birthday. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> <clears throat> I have no words. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? You drove all the way here and you didn't even spot it. <laughs> I put fuel in the car. <laughs> you didn't spot it. I didn't cover it up or anything. I just left it in the boot for <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> lots and lots of noise and dust is going on. But they're in the cold and we're in the warm. Uh -huh. So I've mixed up the largest amount of filler ever to do that. Just waiting for that to cure off. Probably need a little bit more, but hopefully. Not too bad. That's supposed to be picking this up at about four o'clock, so I need to get it done. Shells, holes, <laughs> eating hoops. She stopped crying after seeing her scroll saw. She put a lovely post on Facebook about it, and I've used them. I'm getting a little coat, just uh, giving it a couple of coats of uh, gloss. He hand painted the uh, primer on it. There's not really much I can do about it. But it's what he wants, it's a quick job and he wants it sat in underneath. Michelle has just knocked on the uh, window and she's got this weird grin on her face. So let's go see what she's done. I measured it right, but I just want to make one fatal mistake. I put the wood that side of the line, not that side of the line. <laughs> <laughs> So you got me the piece of wood? Yeah. You learn from your mistakes. Yeah, but you don't, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> you all do this on a regular basis. Right, so the uh, oh, the gloss all dried up, masked it up, <clears throat> done all the filler work on it now. Um, just gave it just a, a light dust in the primer. And so, so you can see where I've sort of had to sand it and that, but for what it is, it'd be okay. It's a plant, it's better than the massive dent it had. He'd be happy with it anyway. He came in earlier, he was supposed to pick it up tonight, but obviously waiting for paint to dry, you know, I couldn't mask it up. If it was one colour, it wouldn't have been an issue, but he wanted it the two-tone. So I'm going to get this uh, painted up now. Uh, so I've gave it a couple of uh, quick coats of paint. It's just it's patchy at a minute because it's still drying. That's come out a lot better than I expected of it being matte black that's it i'm happy with that so before it dries off completely i'm gonna unmask it and hopefully the uh, paint doesn't come off well this is infuriating the uh masking tape's left marks on it obviously wasn't quite cured off enough so i'm gonna leave it till uh sunday now i'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go pick up ellie now and then I'll do, leave, this can stay here for the weekend and then I'll just do it Sunday night, ready for him to pick up on Monday. Uh, luckily it's not that bad, I should, just, I should get away with just a little bit of uh, scotch bright on this, mask it up and then just give it a quick. <coughs> give it to us, Tiffany. <coughs> so yeah, we are done for the day, we're going to go pick up the sprog. <laughs> <Stay on my bonnet. laughs> um, yeah, so I didn't get as much done as I really wanted to today, to be fair. Um, one, waiting for paint to dry on that bloody thing, was a pain in the ass. And then dealing with the people that were doing the doors as well, sort of I was in and out, sort of talking to them. And, um, so yeah, I mean, I got it painted, I'm, I'm happy. I'm not, not happy I can really do it, but it was, it was an effort and a, an achievement there. A lot of holes have been filled in around the unit because uh, obviously they uh, obviously bought more cement than they, they needed 
So just just a few sort of holes when they've done the, the original pour, like round all the RSJs and stuff, it just hadn't sort of flown in properly, so we've got them to go around and sort of fill them in. Um, doesn't it's not leaking or anything, but it's just they add it and it's just a, an extra prevention for you know uh, not letting like, rats and rodents and stuff in. Um, I don't think they would come in anyway because of the ferrets around most of the time and the smell and stuff. So um, yeah, Michelle got the. Uh, the lure oil I was up, we've just had a tidy up. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. We're, we're, we're done. We're going to go pick up Sprog and then go home. So, um, as always, please have a look in the description box below. Check out my friends' channels. Go give them uh, a sub and some love. Um, if you have a look over this side, is it this side? I can't even remember. It's still my mind. Anyway. <laughs> have, a, have a look at one side. The, uh, click the bubble subscribe to the channel if you haven't already don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're informed of all the videos as well as do them and if you have a look at, I think it's this one there should be uh, two tabs um, of previous videos that I've done and I'll, uh, I'll see you for the next one bye